Nothing has been reenacted. 911, what's your emergency? Someone's been shot. Okay, the address, please. 950 Exeter Road. Okay, do you have any additional information? Can you tell me who's got the gun? Okay, you don't know, you just heard about it. Okay, I'll get, I'll get the police and emergency squad started to it. I'll transfer you to the fire department. Hi kids, I'm a dispatcher with the police department. When you call 911, a dispatcher will answer your call. We need you to stay on the phone and answer all of our questions. Do not be afraid. We need to know where you live and what the emergency is. When you call 911, your call will come to the police department first. If you need emergency squad or the fire department, we will transfer your call to them. Stay on the phone. We will make the transfer. We'll stay on the phone until the fire department answers. They will take your call and send you the help you need. That's how easy it is to call 911. 911, what's your emergency? Today we're going to talk about how to use the telephone in case of emergencies. Now what number would you dial if you had an emergency? Yes? 911. 911. What other phone number might you dial? Zero. Zero, that is right. Now which of those two do you think is the quickest and the best way to get help? 911. 911, that is right. Because in most of the cases, when you dial 911, that operator will have a picture. And that picture would tell what your name, your telephone number, and what your address is as soon as you dial that phone. Great. Now, there are two different kinds of 911 services. The first is called basic. And then the communities where they have the basic service, all the phone calls will go into one location. And that might be the fire station or the police station. And that person there will take the information. Like, you know, what your telephone number is, what your address, and what your name is. You'll need to tell them those things. Also, what kind of emergency you have. Now, the rest of the country that have the 911 service have what is called the enhanced service. The hand service, when you dial that phone, your call goes to the nearest 911 office. And they'll have a screen and it will also say, you know, what's your name, the telephone number, and the address is. And all you'll need to do is tell them what the emergency is. As soon as you tell that person what the emergency is, they'll transfer your telephone call over to the fire department or to the police station. And there they'll have that same information. Isn't that wonderful? Well, I wanted to show you what happens when you call 911. And we have a video today that will show you what will happen as soon as you dial in. Fire department. Your mother's sick? Okay, can she talk to you? All right, do you live at 180 Marconi? Okay, we have help on the way. Can you stay on the phone? I want to talk to you. Stay on Yes, the emergency squad's on the way. They're just right around the corner from you. They'll be there in just a second. Is your mother breathing? Uh, okay, are her eyes open? Okay, great, but she can't talk to you? Okay, we have help coming right now. Yes, they're on the way. Okay, do you hear the siren? Okay, that's them. Okay, you see them pulling in the driveway right now? They're in the driveway. Okay. Go and lock your front door. You can hang up for me, go to the front door and open it for him, okay? Okay, take care. Hi, I'm Doug Smith at the fire department. You wanna know what happens when you dial 911? We get the information on the screen here. We get your parents' name, the address, and telephone number. We're gonna ask you to stay on the line to try to find out what's wrong. Try to stay calm and talk to us, because once we get the information, we'll be able to put it on another screen and send you help right away. If you would accidentally hang the phone up, we're going to call you right back. If we can't get a hold of you, we're either going to send the police, or if you told us what's wrong, we'll go ahead and start a fire truck or a squad. Remember, there's always someone here to help you at 911. Fire department. 
Okay, she unconscious? What you just saw was what happens to your phone call when you dial the enhanced 911 service. Did you notice that all the information was shown up here? Your parents' name, the address, and telephone number? Have you ever called 911 by mistake? No, good. Good. Sometimes it's easy to call that number. What would you do if you did call 911 by mistake? Yes. Well, when they would answer, you just tell them that it was an accident and you didn't mean to call. Exactly right. If you should happen to call, just apologize. Stay on the line, you know, and say, I made a mistake. I didn't mean to call you. What would happen if you accidentally hung up? Again, yes. Um, they would call you back and see what was wrong and stuff because maybe you couldn't even answer the phone. Right. That's right. If you hang up and you don't tell them, you know, I made a mistake, I'm sorry, they'll go ahead and call you back. And if you don't answer, what's going to happen next? They'll automatically send the police department or the fire department to your house. And that might not be so good. Why is that? Because it wastes their time coming over. If there's a neuroemergency, they might not make it. That's right. Right. If you've made a mistake by accident, you know, and you don't apologize and they come to your house, that means that squad car is taking up, you know, time when there could be an actual emergency where they're needed. Now, we have some scenarios of different emergencies, and I want you to watch and see if you'd handle the emergency in the same way or if you might do something differently. What is your emergency? There's a guy at the door. He's trying to break in. Okay, don't hang up. I'm going to transfer you to the fire department. Okay. There's a fire department. Yes, there's a guy at the door. He's trying to break in. You say there's a man at your door? Yes. Okay, what's your address? 7533 Sagewood Court. 7533 Sagewood Court? Yeah, hurry. What's your name, huh? Amy. Amy? Okay, Amy, we're going to start a cruiser over there right away. Okay, so hurry. On, i got to get them started. Okay. Hello, Jack. I'm going to start a cruiser. 7533 Sagewood Court. Old man trying to break in the house. we got a little problem. Okay, Amy, I'm right here with you. we okay. got a cruiser on the way. There's so a scared. substation right down the street from you. Oh, no. Now he's bringing down the window. You're going to be okay now. I'm going to stay right on the phone with you. Okay. As soon as he hears a siren... He'll run away, okay? Okay. Cruiser should be there very shortly. Okay. Hurry. They're hurrying, huh? Should be able to hear the siren. Do you hear him yet? I think I, I hear him. You hear him? Mm hmm Okay. Mm. He'll be right there. Okay. They're, th they're here. Great. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. How do you think Amy did? Were there good things? Were there bad things that she might have done? Yes. There were good things I thought she did. Okay, can you tell me some of those? Like um, being calm when she called. Right, being calm. Okay, how about you? What did, what did she do good? She didn't answer the door. She didn't answer the door. That's wonderful. And did you notice the doors were locked? The doors are locked. She's home alone, and the best way to protect yourself is to keep the doors locked. And she did not go to the door. That's right. What else did she do? Um, she didn't run away and um, hang up the phone. But she didn't hang up the phone, right. She stayed on the line. Usually the person that you're talking with, with the 911 service, will say, stay calm, stay on the line with me, I'm sending help. And that's what this operator did said, stay on the line, I'm sending the police. So he's got many lines at that at this station. That's one reason you need to call 911. Because when you're talking on the phone with them, they can go ahead and call the police or call the fire department or the poison control center, whoever they need help from. So you'll stay on the line with them and they'll do everything for you. Great observations. Okay, let's watch another one and see all the good and bad points that she might have done. Nikki? Nikki? Oh my gosh. 
911, what is your emergency? Yes, I'm babysitting and he's lying on the bed and I don't know what to do because he's taking some pills and he's not, well, I mean, he's breathing, but I don't know. Okay, don't hang up. I'm going to transfer you to the fire department, okay? Mm-hmm. This is the fire department. Um, yes, I'm babysitting and um, this boy, he's laying here on the bed and he's breathing, but he's not moving. Okay, what's your name? Lindsay. Okay, Lindsay. Uh, what address are you at? Um, I don't know. Okay. Uh, is there anything uh, around a magazine or something that has their address on it or a piece of mail? No. Okay. Um, I'm showing your address at 731 Lincoln Street on the screen here. Uh, do you know if that's uh, the house is on Lincoln Street? Yes. Okay, then, then we're going to send a squad to that address. Now, what I need you to do is to go over and, and uh, check uh, and see if the child's breathing and, uh, and get the pill bottle for me. And I'm going to start a squad while you're doing that, okay? And come um, right back no, to the don't, phone. Don't, don't hang up. I won't. Are you back, Lindsay? Yeah. Have you got the pill bottle? Yeah. Okay, I want you to read off of the pill bottle what, what medication it is that the little boy's taking. Okay, um, it says C L O C. Okay, I'm um, I'm sorry, that's not right. Okay, start again. C H L O R. C H L O R. D I A Z E. D I A Z E. P O X I D E. P O X I D E. Okay, I'll tell you, I'm gonna go ahead and call Poison Control with this information. What I want you to do is go over to the front door and open it. And when the squad gets there, you show them where the little boy's at, okay? Okay. Thank you, Lindsay. Uh-huh. What did Lindsay do that was right? What do you think? Oh, all the hands go up. Who haven't I called on? Yes. She did what they, what they said to do. Uh-huh. And what did they say to do? What did the 911 operator say to do? Um, to be calm. To be calm first, yes. She's got to take care of herself so she can help someone else. Okay? Um, he said to pick up the pill bottle that he's been, he took the pills out of and read it to him. Yes. She did a great thing by just spelling the name of the medication for them. That was a good point. Yes? And before she, when he asked her to pick up the bottle of pills, he also asked her to check to see if he was breathing. Right. You know, she was pretty calm there, don't you think? Even though you know she's fumbling with that medication bottle, she stayed very calm and stayed on the line. And notice when she asked for help, you know, please stay on the line, he did. And he'll ask the theme of her, you know, stay on the line until help is there and I know you're okay. Well, let's see another scenario. Nine one one. What is your emergency? A kid got hit by a car. Okay. Don't hang up. I'm going to transfer you to the fire department, okay? Mm-hmm. There's a fire department. Hi, there's a kid that got hit by a car. Okay, who's calling, please? Nathaniel Mackey. Okay, Nathaniel. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from, um, um, 1991 Stancrest. 1991 Stancrest? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, did you see what it was uh, that uh, that hit him, Nathaniel? Yeah, it was a van. A, a van? Mm -hmm. uh, what color was it? White. Okay, do you know which direction it went in? No, it turned left, so I wouldn't It'll be, know. Uh, off of the court, that'd be north. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you, we'll get uh, someone over there to, to help you, and uh, we'll turn this information over to the police. Thank you for your help, Nathan. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. How did Nathan do? Yes. I think he did really well. He did really well. Why? Why did he do well? Because he called 911 right after he saw the incident. Uh-huh. He called right away. And uh, because he called 911, they went ahead and called the police station for him. That's great. He also gathered a lot of information. You know, the van, it was white. It traveled and turned left. I have a question for you. When should you call 911? Like if someone's been like shot or something. Okay, if there's danger to yourself or to another person, you know, physically, 
okay? If like there's a fire in the house or something. Okay, if there's a fire, and if there's someone at the door that you're afraid, you know, it's okay to call these people. You know, even if you have a question about whether you should or shouldn't, what do you think you should do? You should. You should. You should. I heard an interview with a 911 operator, and they said, you know, they don't like the prank calls, but if there's a question of whether you should call or shouldn't call, go ahead and call. This will be a good time for you to stop the tape and try some emergency situations for yourself. We've included some examples of emergency situations in the booklet that comes along with the tape. With the help of your parent or teacher, try these situations for yourself. And then when you're through, please join us again by restarting the tape. Now let's summarize how to use 911. Remember there are two types of 911 service. The basic, where all the telephone calls will come into one location. And when that happens, you'll need to give them your name, telephone number, and address, and the type of emergency that is taking place. On the other hand, we have the enhanced service. When you dial in, they'll have all that information for you. Your parent's name, the telephone number, and the address. All you need to do is tell them what type of emergency you have. They'll go ahead and transfer your telephone call either to the police station or the fire department. And they'll have that same information, your name, address, and telephone number. You'll need to stay on the line, stay calm, and they'll guide you through all the steps so help will arrive. 911 is not a toy or something to pull pranks on. It's there for an emergency and to help you. So please use it wisely. Now, let's return to the fire station. Hello, my name is Battalion Chief Dick Braun with the fire department. The squad that you just saw leave the engine house was on one of the 240 to 300 fire runs that the fire department takes in a day's time. The, some of those calls come from boys and girls just like you dialing 911 for an emergency. When you have an emergency and call 911, there are certain things we want you to remember. One of those is to stay calm. The person on the other end of the line is there to help you. Two is to be ready to answer any questions that they may have. And three is to do as they tell you. If they have a fire and tell you to leave, you leave your house. And don't go back in again once you do leave. Remember, 911 is not a toy. When you call 911, use it for an emergency. If you should call 911 and use it as a toy, someone with a real emergency may be trying to get through and won't be able to. So only use 911 for emergencies.